Today I'm sharing my quick review of Heartless Hunter and three reasons why you need to read this now. I had heard great things about this fantasy book, but I was not expecting to devour it in just two days. It was the romanticy book that I needed after my fourth wing and throne of glass hangovers. At its heart, it's a thrilling game of cat and mouse between a witch and a witch hunter. For a quick summary, Rune is a witch who has desperately hid her true nature for years and devoted her life to rescuing other witches before they are discovered and murdered. She covers her tracks by acting as like a ditzy member of society and sees an opportunity to gain an advantage by wooing the worst witch hunter of them all. Gideon also realizes that there might be an advantage to spending more time with Rune, so they both decide to play this dangerous game with each other. Reason number one why you need to read this, it has a unique system of magic, so witches require blood to perform their magic. Some of the more nefarious witches end up killing other people so that they can use their blood instead of their own. But most witches rely on cutting themselves to draw blood that they can use for their spells. As a result of that though, they leave an easily identifiable map of scars on their bodies, which makes it very easy for the witch hunters to track them down and identify them. Rune is forced to use her scarce supply of blood widely so that she will not have those outer scars that will make her easily identifiable and easy to be tracked down. Reason number two, Rune and Gideon's unique relationship. They have this daring romance in which they are each forced to portray a false character with each other in order to get more information. I loved how they danced around each other while also trying to avoid these deepening feelings that turned into something resembling true love. And reason number three, you get a second book, but then that's it. I honestly love that this is just a duology. <laughs> The story evolved enough and revealed some new information toward the end of book one that it made me desperate for a book two, but it's also really nice knowing that I'm not getting into some like five or eight book series that I'm going to be waiting and waiting on more books forever. So I hope you get lost in the world of witches and those who are looking to hunt them down and enjoy this ride.